Hi there. In this lecture, we'll use ChatGPT to help us write the script for one of the lectures in the course. Now, um, yesterday, I created this one, a short history of ChatGPT and a short history of ChatGPT. Okay, so we're going to go through a text together and I will show you where I would, I would normally use uh, ChatGPT and for what. Right. Okay. Let me make it bigger. Okay. So, this will be a live video lecture, by the way, in which um, I will be presented in front of, with, I will be sh shot with a camera and I will be talking about this and some stuff will be going around. Anyways, ChatGPT is an LLM. LLM stands for a large language model. LLMs are models that have been trained on humongous amounts of data. Text, code, and then I realized I'm not really sure what are the stuff that LLMs are trained on. I would go to ChatGPT and I would start a new conversation. I will call it... Um, Lecture creation, lecture text creation, okay, and I will feed it um, with this. I am creating context, right? What is the context? I am creating an online course for one of the lectures. I need help. The lecture is called a short history of LLMs. Here's the lecture. And I'll just give it the lecture because this is the easiest way for me to make sure that ChatGPT is in the right context. Okay, so I go here and I provide the lecture. Finally, what, what, what do I want from um, ChatGPT, right? Um, I will be asking you a series of questions um, that will help that will help improve the lecture. Okay, let's see. Sure, I'm ready to help you. Please go ahead and ask your questions. So I'm very very happy, and now I can start. LLMs are models that have been trained on humongous amounts of data. Finish the sentence. I can just give it this, oh, he's so good. Text, code, scientific literature, internet, um, articles, amongst others. Do you like this? It's a very good, it's a very good piece of text, right? I, I just need to know what I, what I, I what I'm trying to achieve and it's enough. Um, now I'll use another trick, regenerate response. Let's see what else. Text code, books, websites, scientific articles. Okay, I like it. And I will make a sentence, which is, you know, the baby of the two. I'll copy this. Nope. Okay, so. All humongous amounts of data. So, is it only text data? I don't know. Let me ask. Uh, by the way, are LLMs only fed with text data? Okay, primarily. I'm still not sure though. I'm still not sure. I will Google this as well. Are LLMs trained only on text. Originally, LLMs were specifically tuned for text, but with the multimodal approach, it is possible to handle both text and images. GPT-4 is an example of this type of model. Yes. Okay, I learned something new, and chat GPT, GPT-4 could not say to me. So, guys, when you're trying to look for facts, 
Chat GPT is not enough. It is let me let me make myself a bit bigger uh, for um, for this. Look at this now. You need to still use Google. Chat GPT is not good for facts. Uh, like over here, there was the confirmation bias. I asked it, are they only fed with text data? And it said, this person expects me to answer. So the robot was like, this person expects me to answer. Um, yes, and I did. And this is how ChatGPT works. Very often this happens. Let's generate the response. Yes. Are you sure? Are there models trained on images as well? These models are typically not classified CLMs, C okay, CNNs, other transformers. How about GPT-4? Uh, GPT well, It doesn't say, it doesn't say. Well, we know now, however, that GPT-4 is trained on, is multimodal, trained on images, but it doesn't, right now, it doesn't output images, right? Anyways, I'm, I'm going back to, to, to being a smaller head here. Okay, so I, when I'm looking for the fact, I will still Google it. Okay, LLMs are models that have been trained on humongous amounts of data. Code, scientific literature, internet articles. What else did it say? Web books, okay. Scientific literature, books. Uh, websites, okay, internet articles. And sometimes image images or and even images now i will not pro i'll probably not say you know gpt4 is multimodal because it's irrelevant for most people what we care about in this course is how do we use it for work but the bare minimum that everybody should know is ChatGPT is an llm llm stands for a lang large language model llms are models that have been trained on humongous amounts of data code, scientific literature, books, internet articles, and even images. Now, I have combined the replies from here with data on Google, from Google. So, uh, ChatGPT should not be trusted alone. But it helped me a lot, right? Okay, the best models right now are the GPT models or generative pre-trained transformers. OpenAI is the this lecture by the way is the bare minimum like i think everybody should watch it to to have just just the bare minimum and uh the the flow of events llms okay open ai is the organization which has the best llms called gpt okay so here and here let's try with this uh rephrase these to have a better flow. Okay, currently the most advanced models are GPT or generative pre-trained transformers. These top tier LLMs championed by the organization OpenAI stand at the forefront of the field. Okay, I don't like how it said it, so I'll say, say it uh, with simpler words. Right now, the best models are known as GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformers. These models are created by an organization called OpenAI. I love this. This is so simple, and yet... Perfect. It fits my script very well. And the way I want to sound, right? Why? Because I fed it with the whole lecture in the beginning. Do you remember? It knows how the rest of the lecture will follow. So. I am keeping my voice because I have already shown an example of, you know, kind of the final result I'm looking for. Okay, right now the best models are known as GPT, 
which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformers. These models are created by an organization called OpenAI. There are GPT-1, 2, 3, 3.5, some others, and the best one, GPT-4. Cool. GPT-4 is the most advanced large language model ever. The output that it creates can be indistinguishable from a human. Also, it can greatly help with very many different use cases. Now, I don't like how this sentence sounds, the rest I like. So I'll take this and I'll say, rephrase only the last sentence to sound better. Additionally, it's vast range of application. Oh, simpler. Also, it can be helpful in lots of different situations. Okay. Okay. It can help with many use cases. Oh, this is so, yeah, it sounded so bad before this. Also, it can be really helpful in lots of different situations. Now, this is a point where I should say what situations, right? I cannot leave it at this. What situations? Give examples. <laughs> Content creation, like what I'm doing right now, right? I will put this uh, this here, just so we have some examples. I'll call it text creation. Con okay, content creation, customer service, education, translation, coding. And many more. Okay. Now I want to say, but that's a story. That's that's for a different lecture. But I don't like how it sounds. What, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. Whoops. Rene, um, rephrase the last sentence. Translation Taka, alright, but we'll dive deeper into these applications in a separate lecture. I love this. Great. I have mentioned this very important thing about the use cases and I have um, um, phrased it well and I'm leaving it for a different time. Okay, there are also other models because this is a short history of LLMs and uh, stuff. I still haven't mentioned ChatGPT, by the way. Now, uh, ChatGPT, ah, uh, here. ChatGPT is an LLM. Why? Because, yeah, everybody knows what ChatGPT is. You're here for this course because you know what ChatGPT is, not because you know LLMs. So, yeah, I will not talk about it here. Okay. I have to mention it here. These models are created by an organization called OpenAI. And the mo and its most popular product is ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? Uh, their most popular product is ChatGPT. A chat interface where users can chat with the GPT models. I made I made this up. Now I'll do the same. By the way, I'm using a very interesting technique. I'm doing this paragraph by paragraph. Not I have fed the whole thing, but you know, I'm um, when I'm feeding it, I'm still feeding it paragraph by paragraph because it it needs the context right next to it so that it's better at um, uh, providing output. Rephrase the last sentence. The most oh. Simpler words. 
The most well-known tool is ChatGPT, which lets people talk to smart GPT models. The most well, okay, which lets people talk with these smart models. I don't like either of these. Where people can chat, okay, this is the best. Their most famous thing. Okay. Their most famous product is ChatGPT, where people can chat with these GPT models. There are GPT 1, 2, 3, okay, great. I have I have added ChatGPT here, and this is better for the flow. We'll go through it again uh, later. Also, it can be really helpful in lots of different situations. Okay, we said this. There are also other models. Ah, uh, yeah, I came back to I came back here because I was thinking that I hadn't not mentioned ChatGPT before. Google has its own model, Bard. Okay, now here's the competition, and that's why it's the short history of ChatGPT. And what else is there? Bard is a very advanced as well. Bart is very advanced as well and is the best at asking questions from the internet. This is an awful sentence that I've written. ChatGPT is only trained on data before 2021 and cannot provide such great results. Okay, this is a very terrible paragraph. But we will work together through it. Rephrase this paragraph to sound better. Now, use simple words. Why? Because I know that it's always using the complex words. Go has a model too, called Bart. Bart is also pretty smart <laughs> and is the best at finding answers from the internet. Chat GPT, on the other hand, was trained using data only up until 2021, so it might not be as good in some cases. I will regenerate the response, I don't like this very much. Google also has a model named Bard. Bard is really smart and it's really good at asking things from the internet awful. In contrast, a bit more, uh, a bit better wording, maybe not so simple. Okay, Google has developed its own model. Bard. Bard excels in... Now, uh, Google's product is Bard. Uh, what is the model behind Bard? I'm unsure whether it's... Yeah, yeah, it is Pound 2. Okay. Google has its own product, Bard. Okay, I have to say this in the lecture. Uh, yeah, well, I just learned this. If I... Let me ask this to Google, to ChatGPT. I will ask it in a separate question because I do not want to pollute the lecture text creation uh, le uh, chat that I had created. Bart. There was a Bert as well before that. You see, this is a uh, Bert. Yeah, here is the Bert. Uh, yeah, I have. They're also uh, a pretty trend. Uh, they're, they're, the, Google invented the transformer, by the way. Did Google invent the transformer? Now, confirm. Uh, wow, no. It's from the paper. Did not invent. Let's see. At the, the model transformer was proposed. In 20, 2017, by paper titled Attention is All You Need by Ashish Vaswani, Google Brain Team. Okay, so the authors of this paper were a part of the Google Brain Team, which is Google's deep learning. Okay, okay. Both of them were correct, but you know, I am fact checking. I, I want to give you the facts in the course, so I'm using Google. I cannot do it only with ChatGPT. It would be very irresponsible to create this text with um, only with ChatGPT. I would, I wouldn't ask it if it, it wasn't for this, um, you know, experiment just to see the the difference. Okay, Google has its from whatever it helped me here. Um, I'll go back to the sentence. 
and I'll do it myself. I don't like either of these, but it has given me some ideas. Google has developed its own model, um, its own chat based product called Bard. Bard is, a, is I really like this. Bard is also very smart <laughs> and is the best and is the and is using Google's experience in search therefore BART is much better than ChatGPT when it comes to browsing the internet Moreover, ChatGPT does not have access, he has access but does not have, um, ChatGPT has been trained on data up until 2021 and cannot provide, I'll use ChatGPT for this. Rephrase just this bit. I just don't like the last bit. It may not yield as comparing. Ah, uh, give me five variations. Variations. Uh, keep it simple. So, this is a very good use case. And what I'm showing you right now is this is how it should be used, right? You cannot trust it from the first time, you cannot trust it for the second time, but it will solve this very quickly for me. Might not give as good results, can't match Bart's performance, may not deliver the same results, isn't as effective, may fall short. Okay, I like this, I and can, can't match. Bart. when it comes to um, okay moreover chat GPT has been trained with data up until 2021 and um, cannot be trusted for information afterwards let's leave it at this Okay, Google has developed its own chat based product called BART. Oh, okay. Competing product. You know what it is. <laughs> Google has developed its own, its own. Google has developed a competing product called BART. BART is also very smart and is using Google's experience in search. Full stop. Therefore, BART is much better. Oh, okay, I will cut this. Since ChatGPT has been trained on data up until 2021, it cannot be trusted for information afterwards. Therefore, BART is much better than ChatGPT when it comes to browsing the internet. Now, this is the takeaway. I want to stop talking about BART at this point, right? I, am, I have to say it, but... Um, yeah, this is becoming a super short history. I'll rename it a super short history of ChatGPT. Um, I'll also change it here. Another competitor, another. ChatGPT competitor is Claude 2 by Anthropic. Created by Anthropic. It is the model that can take the most context right now. 100,000 tokens or about 75,000 words. You can feed it with whole books and can do very well with extracting information from there. Same thing. I like the information I've put, but I don't like the phrasing. Please. Rephrase. 
another contender of simple words. Now, I will now use custom instructions. I cannot bear this. Please use simple words when you reply. This custom instruction will apply to this child forever and ever from here on. It will always have as a part of the system prompts not only your child GPT a large language model trained by OpenAI, but it will also pass the words please use simple words when you reply. This will help me not write it every time. And whenever you have stuff like this, this is how you use the custom instructions. Okay. By the way, um, if you want to see if there are custom instructions for a chat, you just scroll up and here, if they differ from the default instructions of the workplace, that's where they'll show. Okay, Cloud2 is yet another model that competes with ChatGPT. Developed by Anthropic, it can understand the biggest context at present. Okay, this is okay, but I want another one. One more challenger to ChatGPT is Cloud2, which was developed by Anthropic. It holds the record. Ugh, what record? There are no records. I want, I want another one. I don't like these. You see how different they are. Every time there is the, the result is so different. It's the record holder now. Because it started... Oh. Now, this is one of the features of Team GPT I like the most. Now, it started talking about this record. And now it's feeding, it's getting this context from the record, holds the record, and then Team GPT, uh, Chat GPT is thinking, um, Chat GPT is thinking that the record holding bit, this one, it holds the record. This record holding bit, it thinks that um, it's a part of the context, and it starts talking about this now. It is the record holder, and it's rephrasing this. We don't want this to happen. So we delete this message. We delete the first up until the first message where this was um, mentioned. We really, really don't want. We really don't want um, the record holding con context in our context. Okay, let's do it again. Try one more time. This time. Um, I, I can do it here. this time start with yeah let's see with this this time start with and I'll write what, what I want chat GPT is yet another model uh, clock tool is another is another chat GPT competitor it was developed by Anthropic and finish the sentence. Now it has all this context. I have provided the context so it knows what I want to say, right? This is very interesting. It, it knows that I want to, to rephrase this, but I have provided it with a very, very specific exam, uh, example of what I want to start. This is predetermining um, the structure a bit. Cloud2 is yet another ChatGPT competitor. It was developed by Anthropic and can currently process the largest number of tokens. Up to, okay. This large context capacity allows it to absorb more whole books. Okay. I like the beginning. Now I will stop working on this because I have to move ahead. But, okay, you can feed it with whole books. This large context capacity. Um, This context is especially useful when you want to provide whole books as context. Okay. This is especially useful when you want to provide. Okay. Continue forward. Another strong competitor is Llama, an open source model released by Meta. Meta is Facebook, but we can't see it. We say Meta. Anyone in the world can take their models and build their own custom LLMs. Many companies around the world 
are already doing it. Full stop. This is what uh, the students need to know, right? Are already doing it. I'll just say it. Are already building their own LLMs based on Llama. Another strong competitor is Llama, an open source model released by Meta. Anyone in the world can can. Okay, I don't need this. Many companies around the world, um, anyone in the world can download Llama and build their own private custom LLM based on it. Okay. Many companies around the world are already building their own LLMs based on Llama, thanks to Llama. Okay, I'll take it and I'll say slightly improve it. Another notable contender is Llama, an open source model launched by Meta. You have changed too much let's see now another formidable competitor is long now we have reached a point by the way at which ChatGPT is now having so much context um, around this conversation of ours that it's starting to provide bad results this happens sometimes and you have to be mindful of it it's quite probable that um, that I can, I can go here and I can fork the conversation somewhere in the beginning because I don't want it to have so much context and so much, many different things. It starts getting them into account. It starts getting into account everything and is not doing well. So I'm starting a new chat and I'll just, um, this chat is a fork of the previous one. It has the context I gave it and the first question I provided it with. It doesn't have any of the latter um, words and everything. By the way, it's quite possible that I have exhausted the context. I have written so many words that it's no longer taking the initial lecture, you know, this, this context that I provided to it. Maybe it, it. maybe it didn't do it. So I have to go here and I have to fork it and see what's going to happen. Oh wow, said the same thing. Um, use less adjectives. This is a good. This is a good one. Now our competitor is Llama, an open source model by Meta. It lets anyone worldwide download and build custom LLMs. Many companies are using Llama to create. Oh, okay. I like this. I think it's very simple. Gets the point point across. Many companies are using Llama to create their own private language models. Okay, there will be more and more models becoming available in the following years. Now I'll I'll stop I'll put this dash here so that I, I when I do the lecture I know that here is a, a point of pause. We have said the most important things about LLMs and now we're going to the future. There will be more and more models becoming available in the following years. However, at this time, we will mainly look at GPT-4, the model developed by OpenAI. I don't like this sentence. Rephrase. The number of available models will continue to increase. Um, I'm trying to say, and I'll say it with many words, and it's gonna help. And ChatGPT is gonna help me. I'm trying to say um, there will be more and more models available, more competition for ChatGPT. Um, they might be better. Either way, okay, work is everywhere. Ha. Either way.
we will be focusing on GPT-4 at this time. And I will then get the next sentence because I liked it. Finish with. However, at this time, we will mainly look. Context is very important, guys. So here there are two paragraphs, but in reality, they're the same uh, idea, right? Uh, I'm saying this so that I can end the topic with LLMs and continue with the next sentence. In the near future, we can expect the availability of numerous models escalating competition for ChatGPT. Some of these emerging models might even surpass its capabilities. Regardless, our current focus remains GPT-4, the model developed by OpenAI. Um, regenerate. Let's see what's not gonna come. Oh no 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 no. Simple words, less adjectives. More and more models are coming. This means more rivals for judge. Oh, love it. Some might be better. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. More and more models are coming. This means more rivals for ChatGPT. Some might be better. But for now, we will study GPT-4, the model. But for th this course, we will study GPT-4, the model developed by OpenAI. I love, I love how this turned out. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's recap. What did I do? I forked the lecture to part two so that I can have um, a different, you know, I can have the same context from the lecture, but I can make it forget everything else. I then used my own words to, to explain what I was trying to say. There will be more and more models available, more competition to charge GPT, but it might be better. Either way, we'll be focusing on GPT-4. I even provided the ending, and in the end, it literally, you know, expressed what I was trying to say much better than me. And um, yeah, this is a prime use case. Oh, nice. <laughs> it is far superior and should be used by literally anyone. Now, these are my words. And will be used. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure how to phrase this for now, but let's see. It is far superior should be used by literally everyone. In a couple of years, LLMs will have entered a lot of areas of life. The more we know about them, the better we will be able to adapt to an AI-driven world. This course aims to provide you with everything you need to know to be well equipped for the coming years. I love this and I will copy this whole thing. I will treat it as one big bit and I'll say leave the last sentence in there. What else? It's far superior should be used. Okay. Instructions. Now it's far superior and should be used by literally everyone. Um, rephrase the first sentence. Leave the last sentence in there. Help with the overall flow. Use simple words. And sound nice. It is much better and everyone should use it. In a short time, LLMs will be a part of many parts of life. Knowing more about them helps us live better in a world run by AI. This course gives you what you need to know. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Last sentence should be, you didn't understand these instructions. Leave the last sentence in there. I didn't say it though. It is much better and everyone should use it. Soon, LLMs will be in many parts of life. Learning more about them helps us in a world filled with AI. It's much better and everyone should use it. It didn't help me with the first one. Hmm. 
but for this course we will study GPT-4, the model developed by OpenAI, as it is the best one right now. For this course we will study GPT-4, the best model right now. Okay, I think I'll keep it like this. In just a couple of years now, soon, uh, what was in a short time? I like this one. In a short time, LLMs will, will be a part of many parts of life. The more we know about them, the better we'll be able to adapt to an AI driven world. Knowing more about them helps us live better. The course aims to provide you with everything you need to know. No, uh, learning more about them helps us. learning how to use them how to use products like to use chat gpt learning how to use chat gpt well learning how to use chat gpt will help anyone World field of AI, world run by AI, uh, this is creepy, we don't want creepy, let's see, in a world full of AI, the better we can handle, oh I like this, the better, the more we understand them, the better we can handle, okay, in a short time, okay, let's see how it ended, but for this course we will study GPT-4, the best model right now, in a short time LLMs will be will be part a part of many parts of life many aspects of life the more we understand them the better we can handle a world full of ai this course aims to provide you with everything you need to know to be well equipped for the coming years this course now, I love this sentence, but I want it to be shorter and simpler. Uh, make this sentence shorter and simpler. Provide five variations. Let's see. This is the last, um, the last sentence in the lecture, so it's very important. This course prepares you for the coming years. This course gives you what you need for the future years. Yeah. Give five more variations of. I will not say it to be. I will not tell it to be shorter. Make it simpler. I will not say shorter. But this course, ah, five more, a bit better. Uh, a bit. With five more that sound better. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Keep this meaning. It's 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 uh, crippling the sentence. That's why I'm trying to find a better one. This course is designed to get you fully ready for the upcoming years. This course will equip you with all the necessary. With this course, you'll be fully prepared for what's coming in the next years. To brace for the future. Through this course, gain the knowledge you need to face. Ooh, this is so strong. Five more. Through this course, gain the knowledge you need to face the upcoming years. This course imparts knowledge. Gain the key knowledge for with this course, acquire the necessary knowledge. This course provides the insights you need for the years ahead. Let's learn what's needed. This course provides the insight you need for the years ahead. This course aims to provide you with everything you need, aims to prepare you This course aims to prepare you for the coming years This course aims to prepare you for the 
AI. I want this, but with AI. Okay, I will keep this, this one. Add AI tweak. AI, um, not AI, but add AI world to it. This course aims to prepare you for the coming years. No, I don't like it. Let's see. But for this course, we'll study GPT-4, the best model right now. In a short time, LLMs will be a part of many aspects of life. The more we understand them, the better we can handle a world full of AI. This course aims to prepare you for the coming years. This course aims to prepare you for... No, maybe I should keep it like this. In a short time, LLMs will be a part... Okay, I'll go through the whole lecture and see. Now, we reached the nitty gritty part where uh, I'm stopping for every word, but uh, this is the creative process. I'm sorry if this is boring you in any way. Um, I think in the beginning we were moving very quickly, but right now um, ChatGPT is not helping me. And the reason is I want to end on a very high note. I want it to be very dramatic and nice and everything. And let me say this. I want it to be very punchy, nice, dramatic, uh, because this is the very last sentence of the lecture. Let's see. This course mission to army for the, oh, simpler. Don't write it like an ad. It should follow after these sentences. Last try. This course is shaping you for the upcoming years in the... This course is preparing you. Ah, I don't like it. Okay, we start again. From the beginning, I'll go through the lecture and hopefully it, it's ready. ChatGPT is an LLM. LLM stands for a large language model. LLMs are models that have been trained on humongous amounts of data. Humongous synonym. Give five synonyms of in this <coughs> context. Let's see synonyms. Vast, massive, huge, vast, enormous, extensive, vast. I like vast. LLMs are models. Okay, ChatGPT is an LLM. LLM stands for a large language model. LLMs are models that have been trained on vast amounts of data, code, scientific literature, books, internet articles, and even images. Right now, the best models are known as GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformers. These models are created by an organization called OpenAI. Their most famous product is ChatGPT, where people can chat with these GPT models. There's GPT-1, 2, 3, 3.5, some others, and the best one, GPT-4. GPT-4 is the most advanced large language model ever. The output that it creates can be indistinguishable from a human. Look at what a good flow. I think the lecture is flowing very, very well right now. Uh, and I just want to mention it. And you saw how we created it, right? We were creating it with a lot of help from ChatGPT. Also, it can be really helpful in lots of different situations. Context creation, customer service, education, translation, coding, and many more. 
but we'll dive deeper. Now I'll change this to we will so I can read it. If I read it, I want to read it well. But we will dive deeper into those into these applications in a separate lecture. There are also other models for legibility again. Google has developed a competing product called BARD. BARD is also very smart and is using Google's experience in search. Since ChatGPT has been trained on data up until 2021, it cannot be trusted for information afterwards. Therefore, BARD is much better than ChatGPT when it comes to browsing the internet. Great. Well, you remember how much we were working on this, right? And still I don't love it. We didn't mention Palm, but um, enough is enough. We can't write more about Google in this lecture. Cloud2 is another ChatGPT competitor. It was developed by Anthropic. It was developed. Uh, it uh, our creator has been whenever you have passed per has been since Chat GPT has been trained. I'll say was trained here. Yeah, since Chat GPT was trained on data. Yeah, so when you're using the um, past perfect and present perfect, these these don't work well for lectures. So I just try to make it as simple as possible. Cloud 2.0, Cloud 2. Cloud 2 is another ChatGPT competitor. It was developed by Anthropic and can currently process the largest number of tokens. Up to 100,000 tokens or about 75,000 words. This is especially useful when you want to provide whole books. Uh, you want to provide books, um, you want to provide materials as big as books. No, I'll, I'll just keep it like this and you people will figure it out. I don't like this sentence because it's not perfect, but we cannot be perfect in every sentence and I'm happy to make this compromise here. If you want, if you need perfect, go back to ChatGPT and see here. Yeah. Another competitor is Llama. An open source model by Meta, developed by Meta. It lets anyone worldwide download, lets anyone in the world. I'm, I'm reading it, by the way, I'm reading this out loud because you have to hear it yourself when you're creating a course. If someone, if someone is listening and trying to create a course, you have to read it out loud either to yourself or um, like this. I often read stuff out loud um, in the room because I want to hear how they sound. And that's how you write much better when you read it out loud. Especially when you're scripting a video, right? I'm scripting a video right now that I will record. And uh, uh, look at this. We have been at this for 53 minutes by now. I have written... Uh, I have written this lecture yesterday. So yesterday I was writing it for some time. Now we're working on it for one hour. And in the end, this lecture will be, um, I don't know where are the words. Let me ask Chat GPT. Uh, Google Docs show word count. Open document tools word count. Tools, word count, display while typing. Okay, well, you see, I just used ChatGPT for something else. It's so useful, guys. It's it's you have to try to use it for whatever you want, and you whatever you can. Okay, I'll zoom in now. So three hundred and twenty-five words. This is two minutes. This lecture will be only two minutes long, and. We have spent one to two hours to make just two minutes of video. This is how amazing lectures are uh, created. They're not created by, you know, ChatGPT or something like this. I am using ChatGPT to make this lecture as perfect as possible. And it has been helping me so much, right? But 
it can't be written by ChatGPT. I can I cannot expect it to, to to script it. This is why the human creativity and the human um, bit of the whole the human structure. Because why? Well, maybe it can write a lecture this good if I was telling it all the stuff that I want that I want to to say prior to this. But you know, if I knew all the stuff prior to creating the lecture. I, I have thought it through anyways. But together with ChatGPT, we have brainstormed a bit, we have uh, uh, done some stuff, and the best bit, it helped me with the flow and the language like nothing else. Okay, let's go with the Llama. Again, another competitor is Llama, an open source model developed by Meta. It lets anyone in the world download and download uh, it can be downloaded by anyone in the world and used to build, okay. Another competitor is Llama. Again, I'm reading the whole paragraph because I have to know how it sounds in, in its own context, right? By the way, uh, I'm not reading it from here, from, from here, I'm not reading it from here. We know very well that this part here, I'll highlight it for, this part here, right now, that we're looking at, this is the. This is con this is contextually different from the thing above, and it's contextually different from the thing below. Well, whenever I'm using ChatGPT, this is how I choose uh, how much text to feed it. Right, I'm getting this bit, which is contextually different from the rest, and this is how I work on it. Uh, this we have been doing this the whole lecture, right? And whenever I want to ask something else, another chat, so that I don't pollute the context. Okay. Reading it for the last time, I hope. Another competitor is Llama, an open source model developed by Meta. It can be downloaded by anyone in the world and used to build custom LLMs. Many companies to build your own custom LLMs. It doesn't know it. Anyone in the world and used to build your own LLMs. Many companies are using Llama to create their own private language models. To build custom. Okay. It can be downloaded by anyone in the world and used to build custom LLMs. Many companies are using Llama to create their own private language models. Okay. I'm stopping here because not perfect, but again, I cannot, I cannot make it perfect. Um, otherwise, you know, this whole um, course will not get out if if I'm trying to make it perfect. Okay, more and more models are coming. This means more. Okay, let let me be bigger. More and more models are coming. This means more rivals for ChatGPT. Some might be better. But for this course, we will study GPT-4, the best model right now. In a short time, LLMs will be a part of many aspects of life. The more we understand them, the better we can handle a world full of AI. Amazing. I love this lecture. I think... Uh, this is i'm gonna uh, release this on youtube as well i think this is gonna be a very very um high quality lecture high quality piece of content that we will be using in many different ways anyways this was it then i go to i can now go to my um curriculum over here and i can say that this lecture is how long 329 words and it has been prepared so I will put a green it has to be greener green green okay I have prepared this lecture what else have I prepared um, these three have been prepared where are they Okay, 
these three have been prepared as well. Building the curriculum overview. I'll zoom in a bit. So building the curriculum overview. Okay, right now I have just recorded the fourth lecture. And this lecture is basically uh, how to prepare a lecture, a video script with ChatGPT. How to prepare a video script with ChatGPT. Well, this is it. It's not. It's uh, maybe. Maybe I'll use ChatGPT. I have to do it. I have to do it. Okay. Now I will create yet another chat. This time I will copy this, and I will say. I created this video script with the help assistance with with the assistance of a uh, chat gpt here's the text and then i'll say um how would you name now i recorded a video a screen sharing video in a meta way where I um, I was filming the whole work on the lecture on the script with ChatGPT. How would you name a lecture, uh, a video like this? One that documents how. ChatGPT was used to create a script, a video script. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's gonna help me. Behind the script crafting with ChatGPT. ChatGPT in action. Creating a video script. Oh, okay. The making of a video script with ChatGPT. AI assisting creativity, script writing in the AI era. A look into the ChatGPT process. ChatGPT, the virtual script writer, a meta uh, from idea to script. ChatGPT in action, creating a video script. I love this. Actually, I was uh, talking to a friend of mine, Casey Hill from Active Campaign. He is very good on LinkedIn. By the way, follow Casey. If you're not following Casey, do it. Casey Hill. Um, he told me I should be creating um, a video se video series called ChatGPT in Action, which are exactly in this format. So Casey, this is for you. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm sure you're not watching this, but uh, you have better things to do, I'm sure. But, but yeah, I will, I will call it like this because Casey told me that this is a good idea, so he deserves the um, this lecture to be called like this. This is the first ChatGPT in action video creating a video script. Now, I will creating a video script. Creating a video script. Please put an adjective before video script showing the adjective about video script showing. How um, amazingly well it was it was done. I don't know. I want it to be more hype. Creating an exceptional. Oh, it here it is. Five more variations. Let's see five more variations. Create crafting a stellar video script. Producing an outstanding, impressive, remarkable, exemplary, exceptional. ChatGPT in action, creating an exceptional video script. Okay, I like this. I like it. Exceptional is the best one, I think. The from the first choice, um, an ex creating an ex 
exceptional video script. Well, this was it. Chat GPT in action. We went. We went through the whole thing together. Absolutely no filter, no nothing. Uh, I w it took us one hour to take a lecture, which was drafted already. Yes, so it's not from the very beginning, but you know, um, I was not using ChatGPT before that, right? That's why I was not filming. The first point at which I started using ChatGPT for um, the lecture was this. Maybe for some other lectures, I'll use it a bit more. But this one, I drafted it and then I used ChatGPT to perfect it. And now the lecture is very good. Once the course is out, and if you're watching this, maybe maybe the course is already out. Um, it is, it, you can find it. It's the, um, one of the first lectures from the section, ChatGPT, bare minimum. And this is the first lecture over there. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. <clears throat> I know it was boring at times. I know um, I could have spoken faster at some times, but um, I'm just trying to take you on the journey with me because this is the most real way in which you can see how ChatGPT is used by someone who finds it very useful. And yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that if I didn't use it, it would take me two, three times more time. And if you are, um, yeah, you have to find the best way that works for you. And I'm sure ChatGPT can help you. Yeah, thanks so much. And until the next one.